There are some things in life that just make perfect sense. And Callaway making new Apex irons is certainly one of them. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get in early on this one. These are potentially some of the best looking, feeling, sounding, and performing irons I've ever tested. I've already done the numbers. Well, that ball flies everything I want. Side spin zero. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. But fair to say, that's what you would expect for the price. Introducing the brand new 2024 Callaway Apex Thai Fusion Irons. Yeah, these are expensive, but look like they could be worth every penny. Get in the comments below, guys. What do you think to these absolute beauties? Today, we're gonna to talk tech. We're gonna talk numbers. We're, of course, gonna test them out here on the golf course because, oh, because I'm kind of finding this hard to describe without just hitting you on. Down at the ball, these are potentially the best looking irons I've ever seen. And that might go on then. One, six, five, eight iron. First shot of the day. Um, the worrying thing about that is it wasn't even struck that well. Um, and for that to be the outcome, from 165 yards with an eight iron, um, yeah. We'll certainly take that. So down at the ball, these do look absolutely delightful. There is a little bit of offset, but that is masked by that all blacked out stealthy look. I think the top line is perfect. The blade length is pretty perfect as well. And when we start to talk about what technology is in these clubs, you'll really start to kind of understand the price tag a little bit more. That's all over it again. <laughs> Oh, sometimes I hate golf and sometimes I absolutely love golf. Now, the Thai Fusion irons aren't the only irons in the new Apex lineup, as you would imagine. I also have the brand new Callaway Apex AI 200 and 300 irons to test today. So we're going to test those phone numbers against the Thai Fusion, see just exactly what the huge differences are. And I think it's fair to say these look fantastic. I'm so pleased that Callaway have kept that kind of nice standard Apex looking design also while filling it with some AI technology, which seems to be Callaway's thing at the moment, doesn't it? And yes, you may well be thinking, why on earth are these irons so expensive and what technology is involved? Well, Callaway do claim that they are using an industry-leading brazed titanium construction, and that capitalizes on the power of the titanium face combined with the exceptional forged feel of steel. Callaway claim that by using titanium, the same material used in driver faces, it's incredibly efficient and produces a larger sweet spot than a standard iron. The titanium face supposedly also allows for more deflection and interaction with the patented urethane microsteers that Callaway have invented. This interaction coupled with a forged steel body provides a unique feel that is typically only found in a single one piece forged iron. And it's funny because you might be thinking that the Thai Fusion iron is just a blacked out version of the Apex AI 200. I can assure you it's not that, it looks totally different. The technology in there is different as well. So we'll talk about that just a little bit later on. But for now, can we keep up this ridiculous proximity to the flag? I honestly can't believe just how easy these are to hit and how fun it makes this game of ours. And I think for me, an iron has to look good if you're gonna spend this money, the 2,000 pound these irons, which is a lot, it's a lot. We all know that's a lot and we all know that that's gonna be the key talking point in the comments of this video. But I must say, if you're in the market and you can afford them, the, yeah. I could stand here all day hitting these shots. In fact, I just might do. That's a toey one and that's come out absolutely on it. Go on. Oh. Consistency. And that shot to be struck out of there where you can see it right out of the toe to perform that good from 165 yards is quite remarkable for me. Okay, so let's get straight to the main talking point about these new Apex Thai Fusion irons, the price. 2,000 pounds, that's quite a lot of money. Now, that's all you can say really, it's quite a lot of money. If you're in the market and you can afford them, they're gonna feel good, they're gonna perform good, they look spectacular. And tech-wise, we've got the four iron here. Just how forgiving can they be? That's a frozen rope 
down this fairway. That's a lovely kind of mid-flighted shot bounding down there. And can we just discuss where I've hit that out of to get that ball fly? You're starting to see really what the big kind of talking point is about these. Yes, they look good. Yes, they feel good and yes, they sound good. But performance from miss hits really is exceptional. And having been in the studio already, I will put this in the video. They are absolute beasts when you get them out the middle. And feel wise, it's hard to imagine how much technology is in these clubs for them to feel this good for them to perform this good. Usually if you get a hollow body design, even with a forged titanium face, they kind of feel okay, but they don't feel as nice as a kind of soft forged blade. These pretty much do. These feel really, really spectacular. And it kind of takes you some time to get used to how good they feel and how good they look. Oh, stop it. Like I'm just hitting shot after shot after shot and the consistency levels there are absolutely frightening. Regards to the black finish, because a lot of people do like a black finish. I love a different colored finish on my irons. I love the copper Tacoma irons. I like the black irons. And I like a kind of raw finish on an iron as well. So Callaway claim this is a premium DLC finish and that's a lot more durable than a kind of PVC finish. Um, I'd be really upset if that was my 2000 pound set of irons. Like I can't branch over that. They look stunning, but how stunning will they look? Oh, Callaway, no. You had to get this right. And these clubs have only been in the bag like today and yesterday. I did actually play golf on the simulator with them yesterday because I'm enjoying them that much. What about a low stinger with the forgiving club? It's just too easy. It really, really is too easy. And for me, I think the biggest positive I can give these clubs, because there's always going to be positives and negatives in any kind of review of a product, isn't there? When I opened them, when I got them out of the box and they were kind of freshly wrapped up like the AI 200s are for me at the moment, I got them all out and I got the seven irons out, looked at them and these really, really, really got me excited to go and hit golf balls, to go and play golf, to go and practice, to go and play golf on the Golf Sun Simulator, to come out here in what's looking like the rain to hit these clubs. So if you're looking for something to kind of reignite that fire a little bit, which I am at the moment, these could be the ones. Two thousand pounds though, could just book a really good holiday. Okay, so far so good with these stunning looking irons, apart from that kind of little diamond finish. Ah, oh, that's so, it's a different club as well. That is really, really upsetting me. But let's jump in the studio, let's talk numbers. We'll talk numbers both for these and for the AI 200s. There is a full review of those coming, but I wanted to compare them and just show you kind of what you're getting and what you're paying for apart from those stunning good looks. Okay, so numbers for these Callaway Apex Titanium Fusion Irons. And I must say, there's been some fantastic looking irons released in 2024, and these could be the best yet. There's, there's just something about that all black stealth out look in the head, the shaft, the grip. To me, that's like the perfect looking golf club. And for me, being safe in the knowledge that they are jam packed with that technology, with that titanium fusion, and of course, with that AI technology, means you are gonna get the forgiveness, the distance, and the workability in that iron. Although, have we spoken price yet? Yeah, it's a tough one. So we've got the numbers for the 200 and 300s on screen. These do look a bit smaller, a bit sleeker. Oh, how soft is that? Oh, wow, that's carried, that's carried 196, and that's gone 210 yards total. Oh, I've duffed that one a little bit. What's the forgiveness like? That was very duffy. Still carrying 176, spinning at 6,000 with a duff. The head does look, I mean, I don't know, there's something about, it looks probably a lot sleeker than it is. Well, that ball flies everything I want. Side spin zero. Side spin zero. <laughs> right, that's the perfect shot. We've completed it. We've done it. Club face, club path. Perfect. Face angle 0 0.9. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. No one will believe that. I'm not sure I want to hit another one now. Like that's ridiculous. Oh, of course you're gonna do that afterwards. <laughs> oh dear. That was a little bit closed. 
This is the exciting one. The other two look very nice. This is the iron that so many people would want. Really, like managing that ball flight, lovely. You know what, I've actually done these numbers before we've gone out on the golf course and I cannot wait, because I've got the full set of these. I might go and play 18 holes with them for the review and just out of pure joy. Can't miss. I mean, we did miss a couple earlier, but can't miss. Honestly, these feel remarkable. I don't actually know the price yet. I know they're going to be steep. But if you're only going to buy one set of irons in the next few years, are these the ones that you should potentially go for? Let's jump back outside. Let's finish this review. I'm done, dumbstruck with these. I really am. I can't even keep my balance. All three of these new irons look fantastic. So pretty impressive numbers there. And I must say, I have really enjoyed this test. I do think this finish is letting them down and that really pains me to say, but I've got to say, if you guys go and spend £2,000 on them and the finish comes off, I have to mention that, don't I? Right, we're 120 yards out here and I've got the pitching wedge. The reason why I'm at 120 yards is I want to see if you can knock shots down, if you can control shots, because if you're in the market for these, they do look a little bit like a kind of player's iron. So I do feel like you would be still wanting to, to knock these down, as it were, into the wind a little bit. But this pitching wedge does look spectacular. And that ball flights, everything I'm trying to do, I'm trying to manufacture it a little bit lower, land nice and short, just release up a touch. And again, I've got really, really nice turf interaction there with this TI Fusion Iron. Let's go again. Feel-wise, it feels like I've got a blade in my hand. It feels like the Apex MB. Really? Who is in the market for these? Who's buying them? That's my question. I feel like it's for the better player, but I also feel like a better player probably won't need to spend £2,000 on a set of clubs. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that review of these brand new Callaway Apex Thai Fusion irons. I've absolutely loved them. Pros, cons, all together, I'm a fan. Best put those divots back. <laughs>